Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. As you can see by the title of today's video, we are going to be talking about my November TBR. I am not sure about the books that I have chosen today, but some of them I do feel like I will read. So as you can see from my background, I have a new background. I have a video coming up soon about me cleaning my room and reorganizing my room and my bookshelves. So that video will come up sometime after this video. But I hope you guys like this setup. I know I have my lights shining right here, but I ran out of batteries for my lights on this side. So just ignore that for now. But I do like the setup and I think it's really nice. So I hope you guys like it as well. But let's get straight into today's video because we have a lot to talk about. For the books that I have on my November TBR, I have five books. Sorry, four books, four books. But a lot of them are thick ones and I feel like it's going to take me some time to read them. We're going to start off with a book that I actually had on my October TBR, TBR that I didn't get to. So that first book is actually Fourth Wing by Rebecca Yaros. This book... I really really want to read and actually the second book called Iron Flame is coming out on November 7th. I have already pre-ordered that book be just because I know the series is very popular. When this book came out it just took book talk and booktube by storm and I think that I'm going to enjoy it. I don't think I'm going to hate the book. I'm unsure if I'm going to love the book but I do definitely want to read it and have my own opinion on it. And when people do talk about the book and eventually when Iron Flame does come out I don't think I'm going to read this by the 7th. I'm filming this on Halloween but by the time the second book comes out, I want to be able to at least understand what some other readers are talking about when they're talking about the Fourth Wing series. I'll just give a general consensus. This book is about a girl named Violet. She has always wanted to become a scribe. She wants to be part of the scribe quadrant, but her mother has forced her to join the dragon riders her mother is a commander violet can't really say no to her mother but i think that i will like this story just because i think it'll be a little funny to read because violet is very weak compared to the other dragon riders it's very high stakes in terms of plot and storyline for this book and just the environment the world and like dealing with the dragons in general and the only way that Violet can get out of being part of the Dragon Riders, the school called, what's it actually called? The Riders Quadrant. One, the only way that she can get out of that is if she actually dies. And I know that the a very favorite love interest in this book is Zayden. So I'm very interested to see what my opinion of him will be in this series. But I, I think this will be my next read for the month. And... I'm excited to see what this book will hold and like actually what opinion I'm going to have on this book. So I hope that you guys look out for this video. I might even just do a dedicated video to only reading Fourth Wing. I haven't fully decided yet, but I think that I will just so that people who are excited to see what my opinion is on this book, they can just get a full video dedicated to me just focusing solely on this book so that is this book these books also aren't in any particular order of like what how and when I want to read them but the next book on my list is actually powerless I have spoken about this before this is part of the chestnut spring series so it's by Elsie Silver and I do really like this series the first book was called Flawless, the second book was called Heartless, and now the third book in the series that I do definitely want to read sooner rather than later is Powerless. I liked Flawless. I absolutely loved Heartless. So I'm interested to see how much I'm going to like Powerless because from what I have seen, Powerless is definitely a favorite among all the books in the Chestnut Spring series and then Elsie Silver just announced a few weeks ago that the next book 
series that she's going to have because she has finished the chestnut spring series already with hopeless but the next book series that she's going to start with actually takes place with characters that you meet in powerless so i'm interested to see what my opinion is going to be of this book i don't think i'm gonna hate it definitely definitely not i just wonder if it's going to be on the same pedestal as heartless so in the chestnut spring series we do follow different brothers in book one flawless we follow Rhett. in book two we follow katie eaton and then powerless we follow jasper so jasper is technically part of the eaton brothers family but he's not a biological brother he was basically adopted by the family and they definitely do have a special place in their heart for him it seems like jasper has some past that he doesn't like to talk about he does only certain people in his life and of the em brothers know exactly what happened to jasper in heartless we do hear that jasper almost was like on the brink of death if he wasn't saved by the Eaton brothers. So I'm interested to hear what exactly happened to him and why that is the case. I wanna feel like it's probably a family issue and he was probably maybe abused as a child, but I'm eager to learn more. Now, the next book that I have is actually A Touch of Ruin. This was on my TBR from last month as well. You guys don't know yet, but I actually started this book already. Did I get far? Absolutely not. That's why it's on this TBR. I only read chapter one. I realized when I started it, I wasn't necessarily in the mood to read it. So I'm honestly not even sure if I'm going to get to it this month, if I'm even going to be in the mood to read it this month. I do definitely want to read it at one point. The question is if I'm going to read it before the end of the year. But it is on my TBR, so it's on my radar. Especially since I already started the book and I don't like to leave books unfinished. But this book is the second book in the A Touch of Darkness series. It is by Scarlett Sinclair. And... This is a Persephone and Hades retelling. This book, you follow the events that take place at the end of A Touch of Darkness. I can't say too much about this book because a lot of what happens in this book is as a result of the events and things that are spoken about and revealed in A Touch of Darkness. This is very much an interesting read. I would honestly suggest this to anyone that is interested in greek mythology or greek mythology retellings because it's an adult book for sure there's some spice in these scenes but it is definitely interesting to read at certain points i wouldn't say that the spice takes up the forefront of the story and of the plot you do deal with persephone's perception of herself her powers hades and his world the god of the underworld the underworld world of itself a lot of things come down to perception the way other characters in this world perceive hades the way they perceive persephone and how that perception ties into how hades and persephone view themselves and then they also have to deal with in this series of how they want their life to carry out and then they also have to deal with secrets at the same time so this book is a lot about deception secrets how these characters view themselves and how characters in the world view Hades and Persephone. I have been really enjoying it. I definitely really enjoyed A Touch of Darkness and it has left a, an imprint in my soul, but I do want to read this book sooner rather than later. So we'll see if I get to it this month, but that is this book. Now the last book that I have on my TBR is Air of Fire. By Sarah J Maas. I have a reading blog coming out of books that I will have read from the Throne of Glass series. That should be the next video coming up. I annotate this series. So the reason why it's not up yet is because when I annotate my books, it takes me forever to read the book. <laughs> of the books in the series, she's a thick one. She's the first thick book in the series. So I'm a little afraid to even start reading this book because I don't know how long it's going to take me and in the vlog that I have coming up you will actually see how long it took me to read the books that 
will be spoken about. I have been in very much enjoying the Throne of Glass series. It's definitely in the back of my mind on a daily basis and I'm excited to learn more about Selena's world and where she comes from and what exactly happened to her. You definitely learn that in the Assassin's Blade and you get a glimpse of it in Crown of Midnight but it seems like in Air of Fire you're gonna see what kind of world she came from and it seems like Selena will be more open about her past and what world she was surrounded by and what kind of people she was surrounded by before she joined the assassin's keep and she worked with the airmen and her time after with the king i definitely expect there to be like a lot of information in this book especially since it is so thick i definitely expect it to be action-packed because crown of midnight was very much action-packed and it was a lot of information it was a lot of crazy scenes and mind a lot of information that you never thought that you would learn you thought that you would have had to wait a little longer to get this information and sometimes it was information that, that you never thought the author could think of it was just so out of out of hat out of the box i'm interested to see what happens after selena basically leaves the court for a certain period of time and the people that she meets in this book i will be annotating this book so we'll see how much progress i make on it and if i even get to this book this month because i do have other books that are like more so at the top of my list but that is this book those are all the books that i have on my november tbr they are all pretty thick books i mean no not really this one's the thickest and i would say this one's pretty thick as well but the other two a touch of ruin is definitely a thinner book and i could like read this in less than a week if i would, if i really wanted to and then powerless i could definitely read in less than a week as well i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys are looking forward to the books that i have some interest in and potentially some new video ideas coming soon i hope that you guys are excited about the new videos that i have hinted at and mentioned in this video that will be coming out sooner rather than later and let me know if you guys want me to read any of these books in a specific video and if you guys have any other books or video ideas in mind that you guys would like to see from me so that is the end of today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it and i will see you guys in the next one bye